over here to the apple tree. This one's still dormant, hanging in there. Blueberry up front, those got a cluster of some blueberries right there. This is just its first year transplanted um, from last year. You know, it was a, uh, I take it as a kind of a sucker shoot from one of the, the mother plant. And the um, thing I love about that method is, you know, after, you know, the, the sucker may be a year, it's probably a year old. Um, but when you select it, it's it's just about a year from when you select it and plant it that you can really have a have a um, have a have a crop or a handful of berries getting started. So got a few up top there too. Whereas taking them by cuttings, you can do a lot more with cuttings, which is nice if you're trying to make a whole lot of them. But um, you know, if you're just a backyard gardener and just want a few more plants, it's a good way to get some established quick and um, without having to wait so long and get very sooner. So that's kind of cool. Got some winter greens or some cool weather crops coming up. Kind of a big mix in there. See how they do. Plums looking really good and healthy. Nice growth coming out on that one, a few inches. Big new shoot on this apple coming up. Looking really healthy. Top still dormant. That apple's starting to leaf out too. All these have the kind of cool weather crops planted around them down there. Got a cool little rock right there. <laughs> like a little pebble. This apple's start just starting to leaf out. We'll head over to the next row. Pomegranate. Starting to leaf out some. Leaves that red is what that is starting to come out, so that's really good. Survived pretty tall up. It's European, yeah, European plum is growing really well. Tons of growth. I've uh, enlarged some of the um, cages this week too, so I gave them a little bit more room to grow. Need to make a mound right here for a fruit tree in between these. Maybe it could fit two in there smaller trees. Blueberries too going super healthy. Lots of new good growth. This is the one that's hidden and uh, over here on this side it has just been putting out a ton of new growth. See all those new shoots coming out. That's looking really good and healthy. Working really well. Hadn't had any deer damage using these, the limbs. Looks like it's uh, growing really good there. Got a little shoot coming out at the bottom right there for that apple and the tips are starting to put on some green growth so that's good to see. The pear trees just put out some good leaves and growth pretty quickly. I think it's like in uh, like in having this mound here. Hope to make these even bigger soon so uh, it's really encouraging to see. Apple trees still dormant. Tons of pear flowers. <laughs> Lots of little pollinators and big pollinators. Looking really healthy. So far it looks like we'll have a ton of pears this year. Kind of all kinds of little bugs on there. Good to see the diversity. Here's the little cherry tree that was hiding down here. Don't know if that one's going to survive or not. It'd be nice if it did, but... Might have been in too wet of a little spot for it. Ah, it feels kind of good over here in the shade. These are getting quite big. Not really big, but big compared to some of the other ones. They bloomed ahead of the other, other parts of the tree, so it's good to see. Jump over to the next row. Plum tree's looking really healthy. Lots of new good growth on there. European plum, it's just, see it just starting to leaf out. So that's good. Blueberries, this is one of the new, new leaf transplanted. We've got some blueberries on it already. Apple's still dormant right there in the middle. I moved the, uh, apple trees, um, the seedling apple trees from my previous videos. Here's one down here. 
right there in the middle. Hadn't them quite leafed out yet. The other one is back here. Let me jump over to those real quick. There's one over here. One is leafing out. Looking quite good so far. And here's the other one, the other bigger one. These were the two bigger ones. And that one's leafing out too, actually. So really good to see. This apple tree right here is dormant still. Elderberry got munched at the top, but the side, see it's really putting off a whole lot of growth right here. That's about a almost two feet of growth. It actually comes all the way from the ground or close to the ground back in there. So uh, it's really growing back fast and it's really thick right in there too. So looking really healthy. I think that'll end this video. I'll see you guys in part four.